Good day and welcome to the Procon YouTube channel. My name is Anami and I'm a Procon Technical Consultant. Today I'll be looking at creating custom sections for your section database using the ProSec module in Procon. Custom sections can also be drawn in pads or autopads and then imported into ProSec. But today I'm going to create a custom section using the manual input in ProSec. The section that I will be creating today can be seen on the left. It is usually best to draw out the section with its dimensions that you would like to create first. As you can see, there are three input columns in ProSec. The code column is used to categorize the data that follows in the second and third columns. If you click on the drop down, you can see the available options, which have the following meaning. A plus indicates the start of a new polygon or circle. A minus indicates the start of an opening. An A indicates the start of an arc, which will continue from the last line. A C indicates a circle. An R indicates a line draw with relative coordinates. Thus, if the code column is left blank, a relative coordinate is also used. L indicates a line draw with absolute coordinates, and B indicates a bulge. The second and third columns are used for entering the coordinates, radius and angles. OK, so let's start creating our section. I would just like to mention that values entered are taken as positive to the right and upward and negative will then be to the left and downward. Okay, so let's say my origin or zero, 00 coordinates will be at this corner here and then I'm going to create the outline of my section first by moving in a clockwise direction. So first I'll add a plus for the code because I'm adding area to my section. After adding to the input, remember that the section display will only update after pressing enter on your keyboard. If this point's coordinates is 0, 0, then the second point will be 10 meters in the x direction and 0 in the y direction. As you can see, I'm entering my values in millimeters. You can change the units to meters if you just go to settings over here. And now my third point will be at 0 and minus 300 because I want to move 300 millimeters downward in the y direction. Then I'm going 1.5 meters in the negative x direction and 0 in the y direction. For this diagonal line it will be minus 1.5 meters in the x and minus 1.7 in the y. And I will keep going on like this until I finish creating my section outline. Okay, so now that I have finished creating my section outline, I can add the openings. Okay, first I will add the circular opening. To do this, I first specify that I'm now adding an opening. Thus, select a minus, because I'm subtracting area from my section. So in the code column, I'll add a minus. Then I specify the coordinates of where my opening will start, or in this case, the center of my circle, which will be 4,300 for x and minus 1,200 for y. In the next line, I specify c, in the code column for adding a circle, then the radius of the circle, which is 500. Now, for the rectangular opening, I once again specify a minus in the code column and then the coordinates of where my opening will start, which is 5200 and minus 700. And then, just like I created the outline of my section with relative coordinates, uh, with 1.285 meters in the positive x direction, minus 1 meter for negative y and then again minus 1.285 in the x direction. As you can see, you do not have to enter the last 1 meter in the y direction because ProSec automatically creates closed polygons. So now my section is complete and I can view the properties which have already been calculated for me. To see more information regarding the section analysis, you can go to the help file for detailed explanation. Now that I'm happy with my custom section, I would like to add it to my section database. To do this, I go to the file menu and select export to section database. I can then enter the name for my section. I'm going to call mine custom section one. I can then also select whether the section should be added to steel or concrete sections. I'm going to select concrete for mine. Then after pressing OK, the section database will open 
And as you can see, the section has been added under custom sections with all the section properties. Now, and if I try to close the section database, I will be asked if I would like to save the changes that was made to my database. So I can just say yes. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Remember, Procon is an Autodesk Gold Partner and Authorized Developer Training and Certification Center. Please make sure to follow us on social media to get the latest news and updates and visit our website at www.procon.com.